My name is Mike Takavinin. I'm co-founder and CEO of AMO CRM. And I'm very happy to welcome you here to the Warfield at Amocom. <laughs> now, we did conferences before, but this is the first one in the United States. In fact, I bet most of you have never heard of us before. So first, I would like to tell you our story, what we do, and what AMO CRM stands for. If I was asked to describe AMO CRM in a few words, I would say that we are the Russian sales force. <laughs> AMO CRM is the most popular CRM in Russia in Eastern Europe. Many ratings call us the best CRM in class. Almost 100,000 companies use our product. We've got 300,000 daily active users, and there's also a strong community of developers with over 1,000 integrated apps. Plus, we've got over 10,000 partners that help clients to implement our CRM, integrate it with their business apps, and train users. In fact, it's actually one of the biggest partnership networks in Eastern Europe. And we also host the biggest business event there, AmmaConf. Our last event in the spring attracted 25,000 attendees to the largest indoor arena in Europe. But the thing is that eight years ago, when we started, we actually failed to get any investments. And we had to bootstrap. All investors we talked to rejected us, and I mean, it wasn't even a choice, we just had no other option. A few years ago, we became profitable and even started to pay dividends. So, you know, no investments, bootstrap, profitable. So, for Silicon Valley, we are losers. But, why did every single investor turn us down? Because of CRM. You know, pitching one more CRM doesn't sound appealing today, and it was exactly the same eight years ago. There were hundreds of solutions. It was a very competitive market with clear leaders. So who in their right mind would invest? Anyway, over the course of these eight years, dozens of new CRMs have been launched and have succeeded. That's because saturated markets constantly change. There's always a chance for newcomers to succeed, and this is what happened to us and the CRM market. Eight years ago, consumer products began offering users an awesome experience, and people started to expect the same level of usability from business products, which honestly were poorly designed. So what did we do? We focused on the interface and user experience. And our interface was a smash hit. You know, we counted every click that users had to make, how to search for or add leads, how many clicks you need to make updates, how many steps it takes to add or complete a task. We constantly optimized it and made changes. And finally, sales reps just love it and ask their companies to use AMO CRM. And yeah, now it's obvious, but in 2011, it gave us an advantage in the market in fact, that's actually how we got our first 1,000 paying customers. Our second big success came from API and integrations. The thing is, when you try to create something easy to use, the idea is to do less, but to do it better. But every business still expects to get all the features they need. So here was the solution. Make it easy to connect our product with the apps that people already use and love. And we provide our customers with a powerful API so they could integrate AMO CRM how they wanted. Today, we offer integrations with all the major lead sources and communication tools. Incoming phone calls automatically create new leads. There's a full scene with your email. It links every message exchange between you and your clients. Our web phone builder grabs leads from your website, and it even has a business card scanner. Plus, you can integrate AMO CRM with any lead source using our open API. Two years ago, we created a new way to nurture leads. We introduced a unique feature, Digital Pipeline. Digital Pipeline fully automates the sales process. It can automatically send emails and newsletters, instantly move leads through the pipeline, instead of bothering with follow-ups, you can add leads to targeted digital ad campaigns. It can execute actions based on lead behavior and set tasks for the team. The idea was to combine sales automation with digital communication tools and digital ads 
and it was a whole new way to boost sales. And all of the features were developed with the user in mind. That's why AMO CRM is more than a pretty interface. It's a powerful tool for sales automation. Let me show you how it looks and works. This is the pipeline, the main screen in AMO CRM. Here you can see how many leads you have at each sales stage. With a simple drag and drop, you can move a lead forward. It takes just one click to see all the leads with no tasks currently assigned. Or get to any other filter. You can adjust it for your needs. For example, we can add the context photo to each lead card. Yep. And look how easy it is to search and drill down on a specific lead. You see every lead has a lead profile. On the left, we get the leads data. Current sales stage, responsible user, sales value, contact info. And again, it's all adjustable and it's very easy. Let's, for example, add a new field. Add a new field. Let's say the leads subscription plan. This is the live demo. I'm doing everything in front of you so you can see how, how easy it is. And that's it. Now we can add a value for this new field. Look how easy it is to edit lead info. Cool. On the right, you see the whole history of the lead. We call it the feed. It's a story of all actions and interactions we have with the lead before. Here you, see, you can see the notes, completed tasks, changes performed. And since AMO CRM integrates with your email and voice, you also see all incoming and outgoing emails and phone calls too. You can even listen to calls right from here. Let's check out. I'm basically down. Cool. And check out how easy it is, for example, to add a note. I think this is interesting, Klein. Cool. And it takes just two clicks to set up a follow-up task for tomorrow. Check this out. One, two. You can work with the tasks in a Kanban view, drag and drop to change the due date, or use a standard calendar view. And while this is cool, you can Sing it with your Google Calendar. Let's connect my Google account. Um, it takes a few moments to get permissions. Again, this is the live demo. Cool. There we go. So this is my calendar in AMO CRM. This is my Google Calendar. Let's refresh. And here we go. There are my tasks. And what's even cooler, it's a two-way sync. So if I change something on Google site, it reflects an AMO CRM. Now, as I mentioned before, AMO CRM is a powerful sales automation tool, which is very easy to set up. I'll move to the pipeline settings page, and here's the digital pipeline where I can set up automatic triggers and actions. For example, let's sign up all new leads to our MailChimp newsletter. I just have to select the mailing list, and that's it. As I said before, instead of bothering leads with follow-ups, we can add them to a targeted Facebook ad campaign, and let's do it. I'm just connecting my Facebook account. All I need to do is just to choose the ad campaign I want to use. Let's say the targeting, and that's it. We can extend it to cover multiple stages, and we're all set. Digital Pipeline can set auto tasks under the conditions you define. For example, let's put a task to follow up with all leads at the contract stage after five days. Add it to do after five days. Done. Cool. And let's say we want to integrate AMO CRM with Google Analytics so we can get the end to end conversion rate from marketing to successful sales. Again, very easy. Just connect your Google Analytics. And that's it. So, right now, in front of you, I've set up an example of an automated sales flow and it's already operational. Thank you. So with AMO CRM, you can stop relying on old-fashioned phone calls and follow-up emails, and instead, start using all the digital tools available to nurture leads. This is Maria. Today, she decided to buy one of my tours. Before, to get Maria to buy something, 
I sent her a bunch of emails. I called relentlessly. Maybe I was a little obsessed. But all that changed when I got MOCRM and started using the feature called Digital Pipeline. It's filled with dope internet tools that encourage Maria to buy. So what's up? Looks like Maria's interested. Crank the dopeness to maximum power. Mm. Now is the time. Let's go in for the kill. Digital Pipeline set a task for me to call Maria. That means she just clicked on the link I sent. This is definitely the perfect time to introduce myself. Hello, Maria. How are you doing today? Can I help you? Yes, I found exactly what I wanted and I'm ready to book. You see, with Digital Pipeline, everyone wins. Maria is happy. I'm not wasting time on useless tasks. And our sales? are growing. Thank you. You know, throughout these eight years, we've kept a close eye on emerging trends. And today, we're on the brink of one of the biggest changes in sales for the last 30 years. A disruption to sales that is as big as the internet. You know, sales has always been very conservative. Its primary tools are still calls, emails, and follow-ups. But today, we're in the middle of a dramatic industry change. And the reason is that the, the way we all communicate has already changed. I'm talking about messaging apps. Nearly all personal communications take place in chat now. You don't email your friend. You send a message, right? But sales reps keep calling you. But not for long. We believe it's going to change. According to Business Insider, today 2 billion people use messaging apps worldwide each month. By 2021, that's just three years from now, there will be 2.5 billion users. And what's more important, People love to chat. According to Statista, 50% of users favor text over all other ways to communicate. But that's on average. If you look at the data closer, you'll see that only people who are older than 55 prefer voice. Young people choose messaging. And you can see this clearly when you look at how people interact with chat messages. According to MailChimp, who tracks billions of emails, the open rate for email is just 20%. But it's much better in messaging apps. It's almost 80%, which is four times higher. The CTR for email is only 2.4%. Compare it with the more than 25% CTR for messaging. That's 10 times higher. So we've got 2 billion users that love and actively use messaging apps. Half all customers prefer chat. And the CTR here is 10 times higher than email. And I hope you get it, but for me, that's some pretty compelling evidence that messaging apps will become the leading communication channel for businesses. And it's not about future. This is already happening right now, and we are taking a stance. We are helping companies to adopt this new way of interacting with customers. AMO CRM is the first CRM solution that's 100% integrated with messaging apps. It integrates with Facebook Messenger, Viber, Skype, Telegram, WeChat, and WhatsApp is coming. With AMO CRM, you get all the tools you need to take full advantage of messaging right out of the box. How does it work? Let me show you. 
Let's imagine we've got a potential customer named Emma. <laughs> and she reaches out to us on Facebook Messenger. I get the notification, but not from Facebook, from Amo CRM, because all messages fall right into your CRM. And you can reply right from here. Oh, wait a second, I have a demo here. But what's the point of using AMO CRM instead of Facebook in this case? There are a couple of reasons. First, you get the full CRM here. We've got leads, the feed, notes, all communication tools, tasks, user rights management, and of course, your sales pipeline. You can use our mobile app or web version. Here's the same lead. And the second reason, you can reply using templates with links and pictures attached. She's wondering about pricing. I have a template for this. Cool. But the best part, with AMO CRM, you're not limited to one messaging app. You can add an engagement button to your website and provide your customers with the option to choose the messaging app they like. And no matter which messaging app your customer prefers, even if she switches between two different ones, for example, Messenger and Telegram. Let's check out. You still get all messages within a single interface and centralized feed. See, there it is, Facebook and Telegram united. And if you need to discuss the lead with your colleagues, again, you don't need to switch to other apps like Skype or Slack. You don't even need to describe the case. You just, right, right from here, you can send an internal message to your colleague. What do you think? So she will get a notification, head over to the lead profile so she can easily check the history and give me a reply. Cool. So we can collaborate and discuss leads right in AMO CRM. But you know the best part about chat? You can automate the communication workflow, and create bots. With AMO CRM, you have SalesBot, a built-in bot that works with all integrated messaging apps. And let's check out how easy it is to create one. Imagine we want to ask customers some additional info. I will go to Pipeline Settings, and I will create a new stage for this. Request Info. Save. And I will add a SalesBot here. So this is the sales bot builder. And I want to start with a message. But according to new California bill, the bot has to disclose itself first. So I'm starting with, hi, I'm a bot. Can I get your email? How do we process the answer? Let's add the email address we received to the leads profile. Perform action, set field. And note, the system automatically suggests which field to update and how, according to the message we send. Next message, and what is your phone number? And again, let's update the lead with the phone number we'll get. You can also provide your customers with options to choose from. Do you remember we added a new field to the lead called plan? So let's ask customers to choose the one they're interested in. What plan? Do you need? I will add two buttons, base, advanced. And for each, I need to specify what lead field to update and how. Let's say it's going to be lead plan base. And this will be lead plan advanced. No, advanced. Finally, let's say thank you. And let's move the lead to the next sales stage. Initial contact, after all. Second option will push here. No, wait a second. We'll push lead here as well. Yep, that's it. We just create a new sales bot, and it should work. Let's try. So we drag and drop the lead, Emma, to the stage we've just created and the bot starts automatically. All right, our customer gets the first question, and look, with Facebook Messenger, 
She doesn't even have to type anything. Facebook suggests the answer, so she only needs to tap. Yeah, and the phone number. Again. And here's the option to choose which plan she wants. Yeah. But what if the customer breaks the flow and replies with an unexpected answer? It's not a problem. I just get a notification, drill down to the lead, and see this answer. Actually, I see that this reply fits one of our options. And next time, I would like SalesBot to process it automatically. So with what we can do, we can, do what we can add this kind of reply as a synonym right from here. For me, standard means base. And the bot proceeds. That means AMO CRM provides the ability to train your sales bot right from the interface. And what's cool? With AMO CRM, you are not limited to matching apps. You can still use all other communication tools. Right from here, we can send an email. Let's say welcome email using a template. Introduction, intro, send. Cool. And we can call our customer right from here. That's right. Let's call her. This is the live demo. I think it's real. <laughs> hey, you've reached Emma. Leave me a message. You know. Voicemail as usual. I guess it's at the conference. So I'll just put the call result. And here's the call. So you see? It means that I have all my communication tools united. I get chats from different messaging apps, emails, internal messaging, calls, all in a single thing. Isn't it amazing? I think it is. <laughs> yep, thanks. And our sales bot is not limited to the builder. It also has an open API, so you can code what you need or create your own widgets. For example, we already have a Stripe widget to create invoices and accept payments right inside your messaging apps. Let's check out how it works. I go back to the pipeline settings page, and I will create a new stage for this, invoice. And I will add a sales bot here with the Stripe widget. Cool. But to create an invoice, it requires some data. So I will use the lead name for item, sales value for subtotal. I will add a discount, and sales tax amount, 8.5. And now we're all set. We just created a new sales bot with, with the Stripe widget. And I will add one more trigger here. Let's say digital pipeline will automatically move leads to the closed one stage if the invoice is paid. When the invoice is paid, Move to the closed one. Now we're all set. And let's imagine our customer wants to buy and asks for an invoice. Yeah. I get the message, drill down to lead, and instead of creating an invoice manually, I'll just move lead to the invoice stage we've just created. Invoice. And board starts and stops because the sales value is missing, so it prompts me to add this data. I can do it manually here, or I can just reply to sales bot with an internal message, which is very convenient when you use a mobile app. Let's say the sales value is 1,000. Bot updates the lead, and the flow proceeds. The customer receives the invoice in Messenger and can pay right there. And note that all interactions are reflected in the field in real time with no page refresh. Yep, the invoice is paid, and the lead is successfully closed. Cool. So we've got a CRM, 100% integrated messaging apps. A sales bot builder that easy to use and train and can be connected to all your sales workflows, from answering questions to setting invoices. But when we talk about bots, we really expect more, you know? We want them to do the job for us. I'm talking about AI. And we've got a built-in neural network 
designed to answer typical questions and perform workflows. How does it work? What if Emma asks a typical question, for example, regarding her receipt? Sales bar replies automatically. What do you see in the lease profile? You, ac you actually see that sales bot identified an 81 chance that the end of the question is about the receipt and replied. How do you set it up? Again, very easy. In the settings, under the communication section, you see the list of question intents, and you can add a new one. Let's say I want to add an intent for deadline. To train a neural network, you need to provide a list of typical questions, a data set. And I have one in Excel. But it, there are just 10 questions, which is obviously not enough to train the network. But what we can do, we can anyway upload this file and automatically enrich the data set with synonym base. Let's check out how it works. I'm uploading the file. And you see, we had just 10 questions in Excel, but after uploading, the data set has been automatically expanded to almost 100 questions. When an intention is identified, SalesBot can either start a workflow or answer with a template. I will decide. I would better just answer with a template. And you need to set the threshold for SalesBot to start working. If the probability of, the east of this intent is less than this number, SalesBot will stay silent. Let's say 80%. Now, well set. We just need to update the data set. And we can try. Now let's imagine that Emma asks about our deadlines. But SalesBot didn't reply. Actually, it failed to identify the intent, and it's not a problem at all. We just need to train the network, to train the sales bot. We need to enrich our data set. And we could go to, to settings, but we don't need to. In AMO Serum, it's just enough to reply with a template. Let's say the template is deadline. And it will automatically update the data set and will train the sales bot. You see? The new, new intent is deadline. So let's check. Here another customer just ask the same question. And in this case, we see that sales bot already replied automatically. It works. <laughs> Thank you. Isn't it amazing? I think, you know, I'm not sure, but I think this is probably the first live demo of an AI power bot. And, you know, we truly believe that matching apps will change the world of sales completely and primarily from the customer's point of view. People will be able to use the tools they love and will get better service when they need it. God, my life is ruined. <coughs> Tomorrow is my prom and I don't have a dress. How can this be happening? All I wanted was to find that perfect dress but that backstabbing Sylvia got to it first. And somehow, somehow the planets aligned and I found an even better one. And when I get to the register, there's Melanie. And that's when I knew when I was in deep, deep, deep. Anyway, you have to act right away. And you start to cry? <laughs> Dad, stop filming me, please. Mom, this is prom, not some ancient French tango party. Dad, put your accordion away. <sighs> New plan, go try on everything possible. <sighs> then she suddenly sends me a message. Don't panic, we'll figure it out together. Ask any questions if you have some. Do I have questions? Oh yeah. She's just awesome. No, get your wedding dress out of here, Mom. Oh my God, that's stunning. Oh, 
she tried it on for me. This is gonna be the best night ever! Thank you. So just to sum up, here are all the features I showed today. Integrations with every messaging app that has an open API. A single lead history with a centralized feed of actions and interactions. All the tools you need to communicate with customers united. Internal messaging for team collaboration. An easy to use sales bot builder. Interfaces for sales bot tuning and training. But with an open API and integrations with popular apps like Stripe, and finally, AI-powered sales bot that answers questions and performs workflows. So the last question is, when will it all be available? And it's easy. Today. <laughs> right now, the new version of AMOSRM with all these features just went live. Right. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> this is a really exciting day for us, and I'm so glad to share it with all of you here at AMOCONF. So enjoy yourselves, make lots of new connections, and have a great time today. Thank you.